Hey, how you doing? Justin here for my very first Justin Sofa Showcase. I'll try saying that after having a few beers. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, today, my very first special guest is Davy Denke, who I met through YouTube. He's helped me a lot with my channel over the years, and I heard some stuff that he'd done. Uh, he sent me links to his stuff as a singer-songwriter, and I said, dude, you got to come down the studio and have a play. And here he is. Thank you so much. And then it turns out he'd actually used my lessons and stuff to learn guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's like, that uh, but, 12 years ago when I started, years. like at the first lesson that I've uh -huh. gotten was from you. So. Isn't Thank the you. internet an amazing Thank thing? You. Anyway, so we're going to play his tune. It's called Leaving. Yeah. yeah. Leaving. And uh, I'll add links to his channel and the video and stuff like that in the description. So uh, take you. it away, David. Thank you very much. You're welcome. of perspective to me I'm the one staying true to myself moving has become my sole objective you glanced from far when I needed your help don't pretend you're offended don't you dare to get carried away don't withstand you are cheated you let me astray so I'm I'm raising a flag Cause you raised me to drop the principles I had Crazy, that's what you think I am But highs that I chase you never comprehend How many times in a row How many times should I let you know All of the ways that you let me down let me down, let me down How many times in a row How many times should I let you know All of the ways that you let me down I'm leaving your shores and I'm leaving your town Don't pretend you're offended Don't you dare to get carried So when I spoke to Davey about coming down to do this as well, he said he had a few questions that he wouldn't mind picking my brains about, and I figured that there's probably other writers that have similar kind of uh, queries as well that I might be able to help out with. So what what things might I be able to help you out with in, in kind of guitar land for these tunes? Super. So, you know, this song is kind of the lead song that I, you know, that I wrote and so uh -huh. on. And so usually I finish the song either like, you know, with this or I uh -huh. start it. But when I finish sometimes, because it's a very simple song mm -hmm. what would be great is to have your tips into you know how to elaborate on the song and riff or you know mm -hmm. extend it a little bit and what's your approach to actually improvise on it okay so the the 
main theme all of the way through the tune is this A minor, E minor, C, D thing. I know you're using like a, a D chord, which is a C shape moved up, but it can have a fancy name, but it's essentially just a D, right? So uh, a couple of approaches, I don't have my looper pedal set up, but you should. You could definitely be mucking around with a looper pedal with that. Uh, just playing, uh, if you're using a looper pedal, the advantage is that you can be playing the tune as normal, singing, just tap the looper on at the beginning and make sure you always tap the looper right on beat one, yeah. right? So, one, two, three, four, da, 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 one, two, three, da, that you really want to be just thinking about the one, right? And then it should start cycling over. At that point, you might want to add like some percussive sort of stuff. So you're in three, as you probably, really, you know, so. Two, three, one. Those kind of okay, percussive nice. things where you just hold the, the neck, you know. There's a lot more fancy stuff you can get into with percussive finger style and tapping on the body and all of that stuff, but that would be a, a good starting point. Um, once it's looping, I think the fun thing, and what I was mostly playing about with is looking at other ways of playing those same chords. Mm. So instead of just thinking A minor, E minor, C, D, thinking that I've got, like a, a nice one that I liked for this tune when I was mucking around with it was, a minor like this, which is 10th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret on strings 2, 3, and 4. And then going to an E minor 7, like this, so this, like that version, okay, but yeah. just, these, just these notes. So you end up with this nice movement of... Or... So now you've got this movement where you get like almost... I was kind of imagining if I could sing well enough to sing like a three-part harmony, yeah. to have that as a harmony part. Yeah. Would be a really nice awesome. stack. And if I had the first part looped, that would be really nice over the top of it. So that's... Nice. But there's that was just like the one I picked on in the end. But... Um, yeah. You can do that. That's one approach is to look at a different versions of the chord. Um, and another fun one is to pick out um, some notes that fit together over all of the notes in the chord. For example, for this particular sequence, this works, these three notes work pretty well. It's, it's quite like a U2 y kind of a thing where they just pick a few notes and if you muck around with some delays and stuff. But if you play the chord sequence, just the normal chord sequence, the A minor, E minor, C, D thing, so just play it as normal and I'll use. really just three notes that okay. fit oh. 14th fret 12th fret 12th fret no. well no no okay but that's fine that's those that also works look that sounds really nice so oh. just it, just as an important oh. thing that a lot of songwriters that I meet miss out on is using their their brain and their eyes instead of their ears because in my life, so many of the things I've done on records has been happy accidents, where I've accidentally done something, it's like, oh, that sounds cool. So just then you did it and you went, oh, oops. And I'm like, dude, that sounded better. <laughs> so, you know, always keep your ears open to like, oh, nice. sometimes a mistake can sound better than what you originally <laughs> intended. But if you, if you let your eyes and your brain beat your ears, then you'll miss it. You know what I mean? No. It's... But that will be the two. Okay, um, so it could be kind of on the, on the guitar like that. Yeah, so that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, those three notes. That's all I was using. Was just and then playing with the rhythm of that. If you've got the other stuff grooving out already, you can experiment with the rhythm of those and how you play it. And it's almost like a solo, but it's just a few notes. So it's kind of a bit more cool in the singer-songwriter thing rather than just you know uh, awesome. playing too many notes. And and the key of the song is in G major. So all of the chords that you're playing are in the key of G, uh, G major, even on the bit at the end where you go to a B minor chord. It's still all yeah, it's all still the key of G. So uh, all of those chords, the sequence again, just play the sequence. I'll just play the G major. Just go really obviously so you can hear it. Just the, just the whole no the whole the whole chord sequence. Yeah. So uh, the, the end of yeah yeah A minor E minor. Just, 
G major scale. So you can really, if you want to improvise and you know your G major scale in any pattern, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be, I mean, pick this one, but it can be this one. Mm -hmm. you know, whatever, whatever ones you know. Um, and just have a muck around with soloing with it. You know, that's... Yeah, yeah true. Nice. Yeah. That should Thank be fun. So, so much, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's been a real really pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for Thank making you it all the way down to my studio. Thank you and, for uh, making the guitarist. I'd, we would hang out more, but I've got to go and pick my daughter up from nursery, so <laughs> I think we just run out of time. But, um, man, it's been a real pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you much. So much. And uh, Thank you. I'll see you again soon. Yeah. And see you again soon. Bye-bye.